Excellent! Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Pulse Hardware. Today's video is an unboxing. That's kind of what my life is now. Like, boxes show up, usually they're from AMD. I take them out of the box, I show you guys. Before I begin, I want to start off by dedicating this video to Steve from Gamers Nexus. Steve! He's kind of like one of those characters who's, who's just a little bit on the on the grumpy side sometimes, you know? He's like he's like Scrooge in, in A Christmas Story or something like that. But Steve hates unboxings. He thinks they're awful and they're useless. I thought that if you guys maybe reached out to Steve, you could share maybe this unboxing with him and perhaps bring some love and joy for unboxings back into his heart. That or he can just stay focused on actually doing useful stuff with the things he unboxes. But, um, alright, you guys probably already know what's in these. It's probably in the title. This is from AMD. This is probably going to be Vega. Spoiler alert. But uh, I got two boxes. I'm going to start off with the bigger one here. Because this one showed up first. And if you can't tell, I already kind of opened it. But I've, I've kind of put it back together. Uh, so you guys can have the unboxing experience too. AMD has Vega on the horizon. It's supposed to be launching very soon. And here in the box, inside the box is a box inside a box. Doesn't look like there's much go else going on in that outer box. I did remember my spider coat today, or I was able to find it, thankfully. So let's dive right into this one and see <laughs> what's inside. Okay. All right, there's our reveal right right from the get-go. Radeon RX Vega. This feels, this feels very plush. I feel like AMD has been doing a lot more work, or they've been putting a lot more work into their, like, engineering samples and, and the stuff they're sending out to reviewers. That's all that's inside there, though. Uh, here's the box. Now, this box, according to what AMD has told us, is not the uh, box that you're going to get if you buy Vega at retail. This is a special design box that they just did for reviewers, but you will be able to get uh, at least the card that's inside here. On the top, though, we got the RX Vega logo, bring gaming to life. System requirements are on this side. It does say a minimum 750 watt system power supply with two 8 pin graphics connectors. This is a by 16 slot, 8 gigs of uh, HBM2 memory in there, 16 gigs of system memory recommended. Linux, Windows 7 or Windows 10, and you do want a 64 bit operating system. Do people still even use non 64 bit operating systems? I'm not sure. I think there's like this rubberized texture. Kind of going across the entire top of this thing. It does have a Vega logo there on, on one side. Actually, on, on both sides. And then the Radeon Vega logo. Radi Radeon RX Vega, which is right there on the top as well. So this kind of opens up like this with the flap in the front and over the top. And uh, then off the sides as well. It's hard to say which way is up though. The whole thing just kind of opens up and lays flat, I guess, on the desk. Kind of like that. So let's start off with this guy right in the middle. This is our Vega, Radeon Vega Cube, which uh, doesn't look like the reactive one, like the one that Linus got. This is more of just an actual uh, acrylic cube with the Vega logo suspended in the middle. Um, I can't, I'm, I'm curious if this, if you could set this on top of something and have light kind of go up through it or something like that. But um, it is pretty cool looking and it will at the very least look very nice next to my, uh, my Threadripper acrylic panel thing, so. Uh, that's coming soon. I don't think there's anything else tucked away under this panel right here or behind this panel. This is all foam. We do have a little booklet right over here that says Radeon RX Vega, bring gaming to life. And a uh, little, little flip book action here. Uh, until now, game developers have been shackled by hardware limitations, unable to witness the full extent of their imaginations. It's very markety. Vega is disruptive and there's pictures. And look, they have a picture of the unboxing experience that I just did, I guess in case I miss anything. Some stuff about drivers and system requirements and some fancy... Look at that. That's it's like a hand of somebody... Apparently there's, a, there's a, a demon hidden inside the Vega logo that reaches out grasping to suck the life out of com competing graphics cards, I guess. Not really sure. All right, um, this is where the graphics card itself is. We got one more little uh, tucked away piece on the side here with, oh, well that's kind of fun. So we got the uh, Bring Gaming to Life Vega wristband. I should probably put that on. And then in here we have an actual Vega GPU. This is a dummy GPU, so it's not actually functional. So kind of similar to what they did with uh, the Threadripper, they're actually sending out, oh, it's, it's even got the balls on the bottom. It's, it's got solder balls on the bottom. Uh, so BGA uh, actual Vega uh, chip right there, so you can see the HBM2 stacks right there. 
an actual Vega die. So that's really cool to have. Uh, I feel like I should find a case or something like that to put this in as well. Beyond that though, uh, some stickers are also included in here and that does seem to be just about it, but that's a really cool add-on. I really like having uh, dummy GPU dies, like just to have around for size comparisons and they're just a fun thing to have that you don't get to hold onto very often. All right, now the actual GPU inside this little case right here and I do, I have the air-cooled version of Vega 64 right here. Oh yeah, and again, just really plush uh, packaging here that AMD has put together for this reviewer's kit. And there we can see the Vega 64 GPU in all of its glory. Uh, this is the air-cooled edition with the blower style fan again, which you guys probably have already seen maybe a little bit uh, since we already kind of showed this at the unboxing event that they had uh, about a week and a half ago. There's a GPU tack on that side so you can actually see this, when the system is under load, uh, there's a visual indication indicator of it right there. You can switch those GPU tack lights between red and blue so you can have it match up with your system lighting a little bit more if uh, that's something that you want to go for. And then for video outs over here on this end we have a 3 display port as well as a full size HDMI and a black backplate as well which I think looks uh, pretty cool there. So. There's a quick look at the Radeon Vega 64. Oh, dual 8-pin uh, PCI Express graphics power connectors as well, right in there. And I am going to get this installed and start testing it right away. Also, there's the little uh, pixel, or if you want to say it properly, a voxel right there, a volumetric pixel with the Radeon logo that's on that corner as well. And a really cool looking card. Uh, hopefully, it's actually cool as well when it's actually tested and everything like that. But now that that's out of the box, I have one more to deal with. All right, box number one is handled. Let's move on to box number two. This one was slightly less expected, I think. Uh, they were talking about getting Vegas 56 out to people. This one's gonna be a bit more reasonably priced. It's gonna be 400 bucks, uh, assuming, of course, that people can find them at that price after launch actually happens, and we'll see if these cards get bought up by, uh, by coin miners or that kind of thing. But in the meantime, at least, we are going to give you guys uh, benchmarks when, when we're allowed to publish them. But uh, this one is obviously a little bit more, like, it's, it doesn't have quite the same plush packaging and everything. But you know what? I don't really care. I am, I'm still stoked either way that I not only have the Vega 64, but I've also got the Vega 56. And with this one, since we have the standard edition rather than the limited edition, we can actually give you a little side-by-side -side comparison of the two. So there's a quick side-by-side, -side, Vega 64, Vega 56, limited edition, non-limited edition. The non-limited edition looks very similar to uh, what they did with the Fiji cards originally. Doesn't look bad at all, definitely, by any stretch. Uh, a lot simpler design as far as it's got just sort of a plain black aesthetic for most of it. A bit of texture on the top as we have also seen before. But blower style, cooler again. And we're not expecting that the uh, non-special edition cards are going to perform any less than, than the special edition cards. It's just you don't get that brush metal finish on the outside and, and all that good stuff. You do still get um, functionally all the same stuff though. So, you know, again, dual 8-pin power connectors there at the top. The GPU tack lights with the LEDs that you can, again, turn on or off or switch between blue and red. And then just sort of a simpler design overall with a little bit more plastic involved than the metal that you get on the special edition. And then uh, you do get the same video outs at the bottom, but again, uh, you, you you don't get the black uh, back plate on there. So, you know, just just doesn't look quite as, as fancy as a special edition. Dual 8 pin power connectors, you know, you wouldn't expect anything different there either. And then, like, that's all I can tell you guys about these cards right now. I, w I wish I could go into more depth. Uh, for these. I can, just not right now, and I can't even really tell you guys when that's going to happen either. But guys, uh, I think in the interest of getting some work done on these, I'm going to switch over to benchmarking mode and start working on them. I will be bringing you some content on these with some benchmarks very soon, as soon as I'm allowed to. And of course, uh, before I go, a quick reminder uh, to, to let Steve know that unboxings aren't completely useless. Like, you guys watch this video, and I'm, I bet you're smarter now. I bet you know more things and I bet your opinions of Vega have been greatly impacted by the fact that I just took these out of the box and showed them to you, right? Uh, anyway, if you did enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what your feelings are on unboxing videos like this in the comments below. And of course, if you want to see more videos and of course the coverage of these coming up very soon, hit the subscribe button on your way out as well. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next time.